Coach Prime isn't just done with the swag just yet. He isn't done with the swag just yet. Decided to host a camp at one swag school that will feature multiple swag schools. Let's talk about it and what it means after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, and wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Now, as we know, Deion Sanders had his exit from the swag as he took the head coaching job at Colorado back in December. But he's not done with the swag just yet. Well, at least with the swag recruiting base in that, that area as Prime wants to get some more Southern talent to come to Colorado. So it's teaming with one SWAC school, one SWAC program, and the multiple programs for a mega camp. And that SWAC school happens to be Prairie View A&M. Yes, Prairie View A&M will host a mega camp that features Deion Sanders and their head coach, Bubba McDowell. Let me go ahead and show you the social media post that was made from the Prairie View football account. This is coming from the Prairie View football account. It says, Mega Camp Alert, June 1st. Coach Bubba McDowell and Deion Sanders will host the hottest camp of the summer. Make sure you don't miss out. It's the Mega Camp June 1st that features Prairie View, AM, and Colorado. Other schools that will be there scouting, recruiting, looking at the pool of talent is Arizona State, Georgia Tech, Louisiana Monroe, Texas State. Norfolk State, Alcorn, Grambling, Alabama State, Montana State, and a bunch of other schools. Uh, as you see, here's the post made via uh, the Colorado Buffaloes account. This is Prairie View A&M Mega Camp with Coach Prime. Obviously, you got to throw in that with Coach Prime because that's how they market a lot of their stuff. And, and this, is, this is interesting. It, it makes a ton of sense why both programs, both coaches, both teams would do this. One. Dion understands that recruiting at Colorado is a lot different than recruiting when you were at Jackson State, meaning a bunch of a lot of your core talent, you have to be able to recruit the West Coast. But it's tough to get the top of the top in the West Coast because you know USC is there with Lincoln Riley. Lincoln Riley, I think in a lot of the state of California, where Colorado has had a lot of success in the past, when they've gotten good players to come out of the state of California, it's just tough to get the high-end talent in the state of California because of Lincoln Riley and USC. So where do you go next? Well, you go to where you have your roots. Deion Sanders has a ton of roots in Florida and in the state of Texas. And hosting a camp at Prairie View allows him and his staff to get eyeballs on some of the biggest and best players in the South. One location, all the best players in Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, or whoever that can make the, the, that trip to Prairie View is good for him and his program. That way, it doesn't take them to travel all the way from Colorado to multiple places across the South, which they'll do anyway. But for the guys that they can't get to, or maybe that they're looking over as of now, you get them all in one space right there in Texas at Prairie View, and you get your eyeballs on them with a the staff. And for Prairie Review, it makes a bunch of them uh, a ton of sense because, albeit you're, you're teaming up with Prime, so it's going to bring in a lot of players that may or may not have attended your camp if it didn't feature Coach Prime. It's just being honest. Coach Prime will get folks to come out, and he can't take everybody, right? Everybody that comes to this camp, even as high a talent as they can be, all of them can't go to Colorado. And so maybe you're able to show off your campus, to show off your facilities, to show off what your school has to offer. And maybe you're able to snag a couple of guys that you may not have been able to have access to if it wasn't for Deion Sanders' name being attached to the camp. And that same goes for all the other schools, Alabama State in the same boat, all corn and grambling, all in the same boat. It's interesting because there's Alabama State on here, and we know the infamous you know, stiff arm between Eddie Robinson Jr. and Deion Sanders. It, it'll be interesting if Eddie Rob will actually be there. Now, Alabama State will obviously be represented, but will Eddie Robinson and Dion actually be there? And will they have any type of exchange at this mega camp? I bet Eddie Rob doesn't show up. <laughs> I bet he's not there. 
you know, but you know, it is what it is. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but this makes a ton of sense. Like I said, for both programs, for all the programs involved, same with Georgia tech, they're building, you know, they got new coaches on their staff. Arizona state has a brand new head coach. And so for a lot of those, you know, power five schools to be there, there'll be some guys that may or may not have attended just the prayer review camp, having a coach prime attached, having a Georgia tech attached, having an Arizona state attack attached, <coughs> a bunch of kids in the state of Texas and in surrounding cities, surrounding states, <coughs> will converge onto Prairie Review A&M's campus that may or may not have been there if it wasn't for some of these bigger names and bigger programs attached. And it gives the SWAC schools a chance to pull in a guy or two <coughs> and convince them to come to their school when maybe they originally weren't considering it. So it is a win-win-win on all parties, for all parties, and I'm happy to see it happen. You know, despite what you guys think, I think of Coach Prime. It is what it is. I'm happy for Bubba McDowell and for, you know, Prairie View, Grambling, Oak Corn, and all the schools involved. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Coach Prime, Bubba McDowell will host the Mega Camp at Prairie View on Prairie View's campus, Coach Prime still looking for them Southern boys. He understands that it takes the Southern talent to win at any level in college football. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button before you get out of here. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at jlightsey7. That's Twitter and Instagram at jlightsey7. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time. Peace.